Summary of the Necklace by Guy de Maupassant Mathilde Loisel is the pretty and charming daughter of a poor family. She is married to M. Loisel, a clerk for the Ministry of Education, because her family can't pay off the dowry. Mathilde feels like she's been cheated on in life because she's pretty. She's upset about how dirty her apartment is and how humble her maid is, and she thinks all the time about fancy flats and dinners to escape the dull reality of her everyday life. In order to make her feel better, M. Loisel gets them invited to a party that the Minister of Education is hosting. However, Mathilde initially turns down the offer, saying she doesn't have anything to wear. M. Loisel is kind enough to give her 400 francs to buy a new dress. That's the exact amount he had been saving to buy a gun so he and his friends could go shooting on the Nanterre planes. Mathilde buys the dress, but she still wants something sparkle to wear on top of it. Mathilde borrows some gold from her rich friend Jean Forestier after her husband tells her to do so. Mathilde looks at every piece in her friend's beautiful jewelry box before deciding on a diamond necklace that looks very expensive. Mathilde is finally happy as she looks at herself in the mirror. Mathilde is a big hit at the party. She's drunk with happiness as everyone admires her. But bad things happen when she drops the necklace on the way home in the carriage. The Loisels look everywhere for the collar and call the cops, but they can't find it. Because they don't want to tell Madame Forestier that they lost the necklace, the Loisels plan to buy a similar one for 40,000 francs to replace it. M. Loisel received 18,000 francs from his father, but he needs to borrow the rest. He asks friends for loans and makes bad deals with moneylenders and loan sharks to get the money. Once they have enough money, the Loisels buy a new necklace and give it back to Madame Forestier, who didn't expect it. As they try to pay off their bills, the next few years are hard for both Mathilde and her husband. After firing their maid and renting a garret apartment, M. Loisel gets a job at night balancing accounts and making copies of papers, while Mathilde learns how to do all the cleaning and chores that working women have to do. Mathilde loses her once remarkable beauty during this hard time. To comfort herself, she remembers the night of the party when she was still beautiful and respected. The terrible loan has finally been paid off after ten long years. As Mathilde walks along the champ Elysees one day, she comes across Madame Forestier, who still looks beautiful and young. Madame Forestier says that her old friend has changed so much that she hardly knows her. After paying off her debt, Mathilde tells Madame Forestier the whole story. She is happy that she was able to pay for and replace such a pricey necklace. But at the end of the story, Madame Forestier is horrified to tell her that Mathilde bought the diamond necklace to replace hers, but the original was simply costume jewelry, not worth anything. About the author Guy de Maupassant was born in tourville sur arques France, in 1850 to rich parents. Maupassant became interested in literature early on. When he was in high school in Rouen, he started writing poems and acting in a number of plays. In 1867, he met the famous French author Gustave Flaubert. Flaubert took a shine to the young Maupassant and pushed him to go to Paris to study law. Maupassant's schooling was cut short when the Franco-Prussian War broke out. He became an officer in the artillery corps and served during the war. When Maupassant got back to Paris after the war, Flaubert put him in touch with other famous writers from the naturalist and realist schools such as Émile Zola, Ivan Turgenev, and Edmond de Goncourt. This is also the time when Maupassant started working as a writer. In his free time, he wrote books and short stories. Boule de Suif, Maupassant's first great work, came out in 1880. It was a short story that he wrote while fighting in the Franco-Prussian War that made him famous as a writer. Leo Tolstoy called Maupassant's first book, One Life, the best French novel since Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. Maupassant wrote a lot over the next 10 years, making a lot of money and winning praise from his peers. Maupassant was best known for his short stories, which were known for having a negative view of people and society. Maupassant started to have severe anxiety and other health problems in his later years. This was likely caused by the syphilis he got as a young man. He tried to kill himself in 1892 but failed, so he was sent to healthcare in Paris, where he died in 1893. 
Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.